years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, makes and sizes, it's time once again to circle the wagons because the Coon Prairie Ramblers are in the house. Now, we're going to talk about this and that and this and that, and along to help us talk about this and that and this and that, we got Luke, the rebel without a clue. Let's roll! And we got me, the amiable, affable, man about town, lovable, adorable, uh, fleet of foot. Fleet of mouth. Um, uh, it, the mailman. It, it, from incorrigible. Mail yeah. How about that? Incorrigible. That's you, incorrigible. Good night. Okay. And loquacious. Okay, loquacious, yeah. 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 And we have a guest. We do. Someone I haven't met until this morning, so yeah. you're going to have to do the formal introduction. She's all the way from Nokomis, Florida. Whoa. No, from the Netherlands. All the way, but by way of the Netherlands. Wow. <laughs> We're getting yeah. big time. We got yeah. somebody from the Netherlands. Yeah. Too. Hey, you're the first European I think we've had. Really? I uh, think. What about Frida? Oh, Frida. Yeah, we've had Frida, a uh, uh, foreign exchange Frida student. Kahlo? Uh, Frida Kahlo? Frida Hartmann. Hartmann. Dutch? Got Dutch? German. German. Oh, German. Anyway. What's your name? What's your we, name? We have Jacobina Trump. Trump. Yeah. Okay. No relation to the no relation. former president. Yeah. No relation. Uh, yeah. Married, married, married Trump. Married name. Uh, but give me, give me, give me your maiden name again so I can hear that. Again. Ula. Ula. O e l e. Ula. Ula. And you're from Goose. 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 You, did, it, you did, if, did your homework. But if you look at it, it says Goo goes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. But it's a well, small I, I, village close to Hoos. Yeah. Well, I watched one of your, one of your videos or something oh, okay. where, where you to, you spoke about it, okay. or, or or you wrote about it or something. Yeah. Anyway, the subject is art. Art. That's what you're talking about—a video on art. Oh yeah, she's an artist. Artiste. Trained at the Hague. Royal Academy of Fine Arts in the Hague. Wow. And people were wondering, what's the Hague? What the Hague? The Hague is a bush, right? It's a bush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it means. Den Haag. Den Haag. Yeah. You're yeah, trained in the bush. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, the Hague is the bush. Well, well actually, you like Australia? <laughs> you know, it's where the Peace Palace is. Do you know the International Law, uh -huh. Court of Law? Yeah. That's in the Hague. The Hague. Okay, did it have something to do with World War I? Was there a peace treaty done there? I'm or? so bad with history. Okay. Maybe Alexander Haig is from there. Who's Alexander Haig? Remember him? Yeah. He was a general, wasn't he? Yeah. In, in back oh, in oh, yeah. Back in the back back in the Reagan days or somewhere. Somewhere back, along yeah. the way. He was a, he, he, oh, he was secretary, sec military secretary of state at one time. Alexander My art Haig. school was yeah. there. Yeah. And I was trained there. But Van Gogh. Yeah. yeah. Vincent Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Oh. You okay. say Van he's my Gogh. favorite artist, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I you love say Van Gogh. He's, okay. he's from there, too. He was okay. kicked out of every art school. He kicked out yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, my, a lot of it was his fault. My seventh grade art teacher told me uh, his name, and I thought she said Van Gogh. But maybe she said that. Van Gogh. There's, Van there's Van different Gogh. pronunciations. Yeah. No, there's only one. Which one. <laughs> no, I mean, by different people, you get different pronunciations. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I went to a talk one time on Van Gogh, and he pronounced it Van Yo. Yeah. I thought that didn't sound right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, we need to introduce our word of the week, oh, 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 also okay. known as the Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our word of the week. You know, we got to do a drum roll, please. Hang on, we can find my drum. Where's my drum? Here it is. Drum roll, please. <laughs> There you have it, boys and girls. Our word of the week is juxtapose, which is J-U-X-T-A-P-O-S-E. But we're going to put a, a D on the end, juxtapose. J-U-X-T-A-P-O-S-E-D. It means something having a contrasting effect. So good luck to us to try to work it into the conversation yeah. today. I, I am juxtaposed to Luke. You sure are, thankfully. Because I'm sitting next to him. Also from your in the same room. In the same room. In the same room. And you're from Ohio, so I'm from Florida, so we're juxtaposed there. Yeah. Oh, you're really? originally from Florida. I'm a Florida native, also known as endangered species. Yeah. There's not many of us left. Absolutely. And we're we're running them out as fast as we can. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, you can't yeah. swim your cat without hitting the egg. Yeah, I'm, I'm an invasive species, right? I heard that. Let me let me call, yeah. the, call the police. Yeah. Yeah. Have you removed? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to talk about art and stuff, yeah. and Mel's taking lessons 
from well, I, I was Jacobina. I was taking an online uh, course through Jacobina, and um, and we were just discussing a little before we got to started to show how we met, and I can't remember just exactly how we did it. But anyway, I ended up with a, in a car, in an art course. <laughs> with her. But this was fun, right, Mel? It was fun. Uh, drawing an apple a day an for apple. a whole month. For a whole month. And then you think, well, an apple, you know, that, that becomes boring then. Mm -hmm. After a week, what, what are you going to draw? So what do you think, Mel? What, what was the experience? Well, I thought it was uh, very, at times, hard. But then once I got the hang of it, it got easier and easier. So what well, did you learn? Well, I think I learned cross hatching, and okay. I learned values. Okay. There you go. And I learned where the light is coming from. Light source. Which light is source. super important. Yeah, and where the shadow should be laying. And and that the shadows are softer than the object. Yeah, yeah, and the shadow closest to the object is even darker. Absolutely. If it's right under you. Yeah. And how to make an object feel round, right? Yeah, because right. it's a three dimensional object. We see it three dimensional. Yeah. yeah. But the paper is two dimensional. So then we have to create an illusion of a three dimension. Yeah. So actually, we're tricking people, aren't we? We're a little bit. Yeah. Because it's still a two dimensional page. Yeah. It will not change. And then you look at it and say, well, wait a minute, that thing is actually round, but it's not round. It looks round. It looks round. That's the key to it. Yeah. It's so why, why wouldn't you do it from a photograph? It's a lot easier, right? Because that's two-dimensional, and I'm wanting to make it look three-dimensional. You, you can look at a photograph and say, that is flat. But if you look at the app, you know, and what, I'm supposed to create something that looks actually round oh. that's in so, your mind so here yeah here's what we do that we see with two eyes yeah so we see the world as three-dimensional yeah. to translate that into a two-dimensional that's art yeah and while doing that you add your personality and that's what looks at too you add your personality you do you got your own, fl it. own flair exactly and when you copy a photograph yeah it's almost the same to me the, to me the advantage of drawing from a photograph is it's not going to change exactly. whereas if you have uh you're drawing a bowl of fruit that's on the table and you're using the light from the window okay if you're taking a long time draw that light is changing also all the in the photograph it is frozen there and that doesn't change and you draw same as drawing a person if i'm drawing a person i'd rather have a photograph of them why because they're not wiggling or moving or you know not a light a live person yeah but yeah. yeah, that doesn't change. It's easier. And you can, it's you can, easier. You it's can easier. put it down and come back to it a week later. It's the same exact thing. Yeah. Absolutely. And you can come home with a product that looks like anything. Yes. But, it, but it's not really your own. This is this is Mel's. Album. Yeah. Yeah, Mel brought in a, a nice sketchbook with the the things you've been doing. If we, did, if we could hold it up to the microphone where you could see it, <laughs> we would. But that's, that's not going to work. But uh, she started out having him draw apples. Different, different. 20, uh, 28 apples or 29 28 apples. 28 apples because February ha was a short month. Yeah. So then uh, we take a bite out of it. Yeah, we, literally. The bites are all different. Uh -huh. That's yeah. right. Now that was hard. That was hard showing flesh, bitten flesh. You know how. how we had to draw it, it had to make it concave. You had to make yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, teeth how, marks and everything in it. Yeah. But and then, then also, is the flesh whiter than the paper it's on or a little bit darker? That's when you learn about values, yeah. values right? right? Yeah. And I learned about, even in pencil drawing, before you, at least the way you showed it, before you draw the object, you darken the paper a little bit. That helps. Yeah. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, toning. Toning. You tone toning. the paper. You smudge yeah. it. Right. When you, uh, then you use, you use erasers to lift show, it, lift it, lift it. Oh. Well, that's the, you get the lightest light. Yeah, you give it highlight. So you squint a little bit and you think, okay, what is now the lightest light on my page? Yeah. So then you have the eraser and it's easier to do it that way than uh, already know, okay, this is the lightest light and I don't draw on it. It's easier to lift it because then you see it. We need to take a break. You take a break? Yeah. Okay, we're gone. We'll be right back in segment two. See you. <laughs>